so happy that you are here. I have been worried since it's beginning to appear as if to say I am failing in my duty to read my friend's will. I am equally confused, Barrister. But let me first inform you that we have finally made peace in the family. Wonderful. <laughs> Splendid indeed. Yeah. This is all I desire so that I can come in and read the will. Oh, the will. As a matter of fact, that is why I am here. You see, the elders in the family believe that Papa acted in error, contrary to tradition. I don't get it. Well, even though you have not read the will, I can assure you that Papa willed all his properties to us, the women. I'm not surprised. I am not. What has tradition and anger got to do with that? Well, according to tradition, Papa is not supposed to will his properties to the women. If Papa had not been angry with Jonathan, I can assure you he would have willed everything to him. Do not take them seriously. You and I know that traditions are dynamic. The only thing that remains permanent is change. Why are you even listening to them? Barrister, I am trying everything in my power to ensure that we maintain the peace that has been achieved in the family. I, I, I don't want, I don't want trouble. Let me tell you something. That is the more reason you should abide by the way. We can do this in peace. Or we can do it in pieces No matter how you look at it The real truth is It's mine, mine forever What is it? He drove past your property without slowing down to take proper look at it Oh, that shopping complex? My father built it more than 15 years ago I've seen it more than a million times. So what's the need stopping to look at it now? Especially now that it belongs to my sisters, until they change their minds. Uncle Norbert promised to make them handle your inheritance to you. So you want me to hold a gun over his head until he fulfills his promise? It's wisdom to strike when the iron is hot. It's also wisdom to exercise patience in such delicate matters as this. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? You. Me? Yes, you. I'm afraid you'll push me and my sisters into another clash. I can hear the voice of a coward. Cowardice is also a virtue sometimes. Onyonjola. Is in there. Jonathan. Uncle. Why are you standing out? Standing outside. But you didn't tell me you are coming. I thought you were not in the house. I don't go anywhere these days. You know, you give me enough to take care of me throughout the months. <laughs> How about your family and your sisters? Oh, they are all fine. You see, I just came to thank you for all you did for us during the burial. Just that? Yeah. So you drove all the way to this place just for this? You are a considerate boy, Jonathan. Ah, please come in. Let me find you something to drink. I even brought drinks for you. Yes, I brought drinks for you. I'm, uh, um, I, don't, I don't really have time. Will you accompany me to see the priest? I want to thank the parish priest. <laughs> Will I? Are you reminding an old man like me to come and do my work? To do my job? Isn't there? 
I want to remind you that I'm taking my time to get those documents from Norita. Oh, the property deed? Yes. Norita is a good girl. And I know she will talk to herself and also to her sisters to do the right thing. <laughs> right thing. Right thing. Uncle, I like you. You always talk about the right thing. Yes. At this age, I must always insist on the right thing. Not just saying it. Doing the right thing. Not just saying it. All right, let's go. Let's go. We can do this in peace. Or we can do it in pieces. No matter how you look at it. The real truth is It's mine Mine forever All mine Mine is good Let me drive you home, Uncle yes. I'll walk The doctor says it's good for my age Alright You manage this Manage? Yes you are spoiling me, really spoiling me with money. Hey! Uh, may God bless you. Amen. God bless you, my son. Amen. And be sure that I will always ensure that the right thing is done at all times. And one good thing you will do for me is this. Take good care of your sisters. Do the right thing. Take good care of them. Just the way your father would have done. I'll do that, Uncle. I'll do that, don't worry. Okay, Uncle, let me be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad that peace has finally returned to this family. Hmm, brother, I've never left the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about you as peace. I'm talking about peaceful coexistence that we now enjoy. So now we will live in peace and not in pieces. Exactly. Keep the place warm with peace, love and happiness. Yes. yes. I'm sure that Ezenia, wherever he is, he will be so happy. To show my own personal commitment, to show that I am committed to this newfound peace, I won't talk much. Peace, for you to prepare well for your National Youth Service Program. 200,000 naira. Wow! Was that for me? Yes. Ah! Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah! My original bigger brother. Yes. Mm. Don't worry. <laughs> if anybody looks at you anyhow in your orientation camp, or insults you, or even smiles in a way you don't like, one phone call, I will show them that you have a big brother in the house. Yes, boss. Chidi, you have always been a conscientious and reliable brother-in-law. And um, I've always admired your candor in the midst of a storm. Just manage one million naira to reactivate your business. It looks like we're going this way. <laughs> and now, Adania. Adania. Your supermarket. Hey. You, you have to uh, expand it. Manage. 1.5 million. Hey! Chime! No! I'm going to 
าน้องมันแนมว่าเนี้ยอีกทีโอลีน่าบอนดมาตามมิลิออนโอลีซาบินีอุเกะ Father in heaven I pray I pray with all my heart that this new found peace this new found peace is real and will last forever may it last forever oh I'm a n a n k a y u a d i c h e Hey man, all day gym non. Because you know, it's time to last now. I am real and everlasting. Man, no. Everlasting peace. Kaine ene no. One point five million. Oh, here comes my rice. Yo, hey, hey. Look, I will take this money, go to Abakaliki and buy the original Abakaliki rice. You know, it's very nutritious and expensive. I'll eat. I'll eat too. Ah, it's not just eating only. I will supply you with the rice, and you will pay me. <laughs> hey, you're taking. Hey, 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 hey. I'm ready. I'm ready, Polly. Yeah, I can stop dancing. What kind of dance do I do? Amen. Amen. Hey, my love, my love. Now the book of Luke, chapter twelve, verse thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Jesus Christ here was talking about covetousness and material things. Now listen carefully to me. The young man came to Jesus, knowing him as the judge of the whole universe, and was asking Jesus to prevail on his elder brother to divide his father's inheritance with him. Praise the Lord, somebody. But Jesus Christ. Beyond the expectation of this man, stunned him and said, "Who made me a judge over you and your elder brother?" Are you trying to get something there? Jesus entirely left what primarily the kind of judgment the young man expected of him, and was trying to let him deep deeper into understanding of what the scripture is all about. He said, "Who made me a judge over you and your elder brother?" If you now go down the scripture, you will now see where he turned to the bread and he start telling them. He said, "For him, beware of covetousness." Now listen to me, brethren. Jesus Christ was trying to educate us that this simple letter word, covetousness, is a canker worm. Is a, in fact, is a major canker worm that eating inside Christendom because he leads to. All manners of argument, strife, anger, destruction, and ultimately death. Praise the Lord, somebody. The Bible says, even in Luke, that we should beware of covetousness, because a man's life consists not of the abundance of the things that we possess, but the ultimate salvation of your soul. Praise the Lord, somebody. Just a dream. It was just a dream. A dream? The way you startled me from my sleep it looks like a nightmare. Not a nightmare, just more like a warning. Warning about what? Nothing to trouble anyone over. Let's go back to bed.
Kechi? <laughs> Did I tell you that the family lawyer called last night? He said that the um, shopping mall's um, rents are due. And he was wondering how and where to pay them in. Uh, they should pay it into Jonathan's account now. What? Why? Were you people not the ones that said Mr. Tradition demands that the male child inherits the landed properties? So? So, we should do what is right. Fulfill all righteousness. Let's do it. Nkechi, and the show. I don't know what I'm sure of anymore. It's just I'm tired of fighting. <laughs> that sounds strange coming from you. You feel not the stranger. Okay. I wonder what has come over you. <laughs> Change, they say, sister, is the only constant thing in life. That is what everybody says. Mm -hmm. Change. No, Nkechi. Look at this. Someone sent this. Oh my god. Are you serious? Hey, who sent it? Open. The Maracuwa boy is in your phone. My daughter, what you did will impact on future generations. The family will reap bountifully. Forever from this good way. Huh? Yes. Now tell me, has he been fulfilling his obligations to you, girls? In fact, of course. Jonathan's change of heart is awesome. Even Hardline and Kichi has given her consent for the mall's uh, rent to be paid into his account. <laughs> God, I thank you. I thank you, God. Loretta, look up! If God will open your spirit eyes, you will see your father smiling and showing gratitude. Oh, the wish of every man is that his children remain united even years after he is gone. It's all thanks to you, uncle. <laughs> you are too modest. You are the woman of virtue. You have midwife peace into the family. <laughs> well, why are you laughing? <laughs> Uncle, I imagined what peace would have said to those lines if she were here. <laughs> oh, just that? <laughs> uh, well, thank you. I will keep this uh, this in my custody. Uh, please, Uncle. On no account should you hand over those deeds to Jonathan or anyone else. Please. We're going to take the decision much later on what to do. Okay. I've had you. Ada, I've had you. Hmm? I seriously, babes, I envy you. I mean, Mike is a prospective young man with a bright future. Uh, a first class mechanical engineer at that. And I think you're lucky. Yeah, I overheard him talking with his friend. He said he doesn't want to remain in Chevron, that he wants to work in Chevron. And Chevron is even ready to pay him the double of what he gets from Chevron. Well, seriously, I think he should stay here with Chevron. Because for me, I see no reason he should move on to Chevron. Yeah, I think they can pay him well as well. Yeah, he said he doesn't want to remain in Chevron. That. Uh, he wants to work with Chevron, and since Chevron is ready to pay his price, let's just leave him to live out his choice. Yeah, he's a man. He knows what he wants. Yeah, you're right there, but seriously, babes, I think you're lucky. First, graduating and moving into a man's house, and not even any other anyhow man, but the dream of every young woman. I think you're lucky. <laughs> just pro promised. We are not married yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> and who says the wedding bell is not ringing? Because I can hear it ringing. Oh, maybe you're right, I'm lucky. Okay. But seriously, tell me, how many young girls of our badge were able to get a man to propose to them? And here you are telling me there isn't any wedding yet. <laughs> Girl, I think you're lucky. Yeah, maybe you're right, I'm lucky, thank you. Don't worry, yours will come soon. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Amen. I claim that. <laughs> okay, you oh, ladies. Maybe. Sorry, I kept you. Are we ready to go now? Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> are. The okay. apology is accepted. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Let me get my shoes. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. Maybe um trying my best to see if I can be retained in Shell here after my youth service. I really want it. I have a feeling you'll be retained. Oh really? Yeah. My instincts are always right. Wow, I I will be the happiest girl if that happens. Like very happy. So it's gonna be two people, a husband and wife, working in all your companies. And that will be my dream come true. Well, even if they fail to retain you, with my influence and uh, connections in Chevron, I can secure your appointment with Chevron. No, baby, I don't want Chevron. I want Shell. Most, we both work in the same firm. Okay, what if I change my mind? Not to leave Shell for Chevron. What would you do? I already know your mind is made up. I aren't going back to your decisions. I know you. Well, I didn't even know. You're already at your place. Maybe I really wish to spend the rest of the night with you. Yes, baby, let's go in there, spend the night with me. You're most welcome, and you know, it's your house, too. With charity there? Yeah, charity understands. Maybe charity is a part of this relationship, and you know that. Don't worry, baby. What happened? Just calm down and tell me everything that has happened, okay? Dirty. Please, do, do, do I look like someone under a cause? Not at all. You are not under any cause, okay? I think you are the envy of all your mates. So tell me what happened. Something is telling me I am under a cause. Come on, stop all this costing and tell me what actually happened. <laughs> Mike. Yes, what about Mike? What happened to Mike? Mike just got off the engagement. Jesus. Said he's not more interested in marrying me. What happened and why will he take such a rash decision at this hour? Charity, this has, this has become part of my life. This is not the first time it's happening. This is not the second time. Clarity, this is the third time. Once a man proposes to me, he will wake up one morning and act like someone who was lured into the relationship. Clarity, our relationship will be Romeo and Juliet. No problems. No fault dictations. But I don't know why, after proposing to me, he, he will wake up one morning and act like someone who was lured into it. Imagine my own Mike, my own Mike, looking into my eyes today to tell me he's no more marrying me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Tell me what happened. What did you do to him, and why will he change his mind? His charity, nothing. He said his instincts told him that I'm not his wife. Let's trust it. Good. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, girlfriend. One thing I know is when your own husband comes up the scene, you will know, okay? So wipe away your tears and believe that your husband is still on the way. You don't have to cry over little things like this, okay? So share up, okay? Charity, how am I sure this is not going to continue happening to me like this? Oh, God forbid. How would you say such a thing? It will never be your portion, okay? As God, as far as there is God in heaven, I know your own man is on the way. 
and at the appointed time, you will meet him. how tough and rough it is. We thank God we are able to succeed. Some people died doing your service, you know. So we give God the glory for you. Yes, you're right, brother. It, was, it wasn't easy at all. It was stressful. My dear, nothing good comes easy. Especially for the daughter of the great chief is in there. Yes. So peace. The only thing remaining for you now is to look for work, eh? How can she be looking for work when she can work in Eden Naya's company where you are in charge? That's true. That's true. I have to look for how to create space for her. Brother, I have been retained in the oil company where I serve. Really? But they said they need a compensation for me from us, all of us. Compensation? Yes. What do they, they mean by that? They said they need the sum of 500,000 naira from us. It's not only me, it's everybody. 500,000 naira? For what? It's all your company, a small company. They need something from us now before they, 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 they give us food. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the way it's done now? But that's how they do it though. It's everybody, not only me, it's everybody. Oh, oh. You have to give them 500,000 naira for them to employ you. Yes. I don't know. Baby, let me see you inside. Let me see you inside. Let me see. One night. Where have you heard of someone paying a bribe of 500,000 naira for a job that is not guaranteed? My dear, that's the new trend in the country now. They call it a compensation fee. A matter like that is still within the National Assembly for debate. They're investigating it. You know, the person who is looking for work will pay and compensate the person inside who is helping him or her to get a job. Nonsense. This is nonsense! Bribe is bribe. This one is a fraud. Well, it's the oil company where she served for a year. So she must know their inner workings. I'm sure she trusts them. Trust? Trust? Jonathan, did you say trust? You're kidding me! You are a man! Wake up! It's just like drain money into the ocean! Yeah, but you know, I would love my sister to work in an oil company. They pay well and their money is guaranteed. But come to think of it, you may have a point there. Even a fool can see the point. Who is the fool now? Me or them? No, baby. They want to fool her. To rob you. Fool her? Rob you? You have a point. These people are rogues. They are... Oh my God. Give it to them, just like that. Maybe 
Hey, I'm a goodie. This is incredible. Totally unacceptable. I mean, Jonathan is supposed to be a changed man. What has come over him? Brother Jonathan may be willing to change. But that Jezebel he calls a wife will change him back to whatever she desires, according to her whims and caprices. And you know that. Nkechi, won't you say something? When someone keeps quiet, it's either she doesn't have anything to say or too much to say. So, Aginiki, what have you said? Nothing. Was it not you? that advised that we should pay him the proceeds of the shopping mall rent into his account? Shopping mall rent? The rent, oh! 2.1 million naira. Oh my god. So brother Jonathan has that kind of money and he was giving me lectures over bad economy. Eh, okay, no problem. Me, I think Jonathan is in some kind of fix. What kind of fix? Ewa Chibegon, what kind of fix? I don't know, I, I can't explain. I, I just can't. I can't. After I explained to Brother Jonathan that the oil company wants to be me, his wife took him inside and by the time they returned, I couldn't recognize my brother again. I could not. What do you mean by that? He acted like someone under a spell. His argument was Esau's voice, Jacob's hand, and it was obvious. Did you hear that? You all seem to be forgetting that I was the one that said we should treat this Jonathan's change of character with a pinch of salt. You've, you've all forgotten. Oh, was it not the same you, Ngewabi Fanoa, that suggested we pay the proceeds of the of the mall, 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 mall rent into his account? Upright! Oh, I did. But that was based on what I perceived as a revelation. Revelation or no revelation? <laughs> Jonathan must bring out the money. And if that Jezebel of a wife tries to stand in my way, Oh, I will show her that I'm the mother of this house. I can Where is my brother? My husband is busy. And where do you think you're going? You people should have heard. Kill him and eat him. Kill him. Where do you think you're going? Would a man be hiding in his own house? Wonder. You were hiding because you knew I was going to come after you. How much? How much of our money was paid into your account in the name of tradition and peace? That is not the issue at this point in time. Oh, I, I think they want to dupe her, and I, I don't think it's proper that. Your own body is duping her. For your information, it has become our way of life to ask for gratification for a blue chip job. Everybody is paying. It is a good opportunity to have that kind of job. And if you let this opportunity slip by because of what your stupid no, wife don't away, no. Don't even mention my name. If he has money to throw away, let him go ahead and throw it away. I don't have any money to throw away. Who is talking about your money? I am talking about our, our, nature, our money. His inheritance, not your money. Obura Egoi, what inheritance? Obura Show me anything I'm about. Obura Egoi, yes, okay. Hold this your wife, fool. Hold this your wife. Before I do something, I will regret. Oh, no, Loretta, please. Relax. Calm down. Let's. Why are you, why are you upset? Leave her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let her do whatever she wants. No, 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 no. Well, I did this. I don't want to do it. You will marry from the village. I want you. 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 Again. No, not they. That was Uncle Norbert. 
Oh, those witches have gone to work on him. They are my baby sisters, not witches. Darling, I think I have to find a way to do that money. Please, try and understand. Try and understand what? What you don't understand? By the time you give them that money, their next demand will be higher. Very soon they will wreck you. Don't forget they are still with the deal. We have made peace. Okay? We made peace. Uncle Norbert broke out the peace. If people have made peace like it clean, why are they still in possession of the deed? Why? Think. Think, baby, think. Think like a smart man. My darling, I'm not that foolish. Now what makes you think that they still have the deed? What makes you think they still have the deed? Huh? <laughs> I said it before that the reason God keeps an elder in the family is to make sure that the children do not mistake um, the vulture for a kite. Eh? Now, we fought very hard to have peace in this world. And now somebody is mistaking a, a, a vulture for a kite. Thereby threatening the peace. Uncle, I will not beat about the bush. Jonathan here is the one threatening the peace. He's, he's being teleguided by that stupid, hopeless village wife. Loretta, leave my wife out of this. She has nothing to do with anything. Leave her out of this matter. Brother, that's not true. Your wife is the one behind all this. She took you away right before me, and by the time you returned, everything changed. She's the one. Will you keep quiet? Huh? Will you keep quiet? Uncle, I simply told her that I cannot pay that money to dupes. Those guys are fraudsters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jonathan, you're the fraud here. Argue for the fraud. Did you tell Uncle how your wife beat me out of your house? Ibadia? You, you started it. Mwah, Jonathan. Jonathan, is this really you speaking? Is this really you speaking or there's somebody else speaking through you? Or one or or when they speak through you, Keta? Nketi, I will pretend that I didn't hear you say. It's okay, it's okay, my children. Jonathan, um, all your sisters cannot be wrong. Huh? You see, half a million naira, yes, is a big amount of money. But I am sure you are above it. Let's go in the interest of peace and harmony, which all of us work hard to achieve in the family. Uncle, with yeah. due respect, I would gladly give that money for a true cause, not to fraud stars. Jonathan, once again, you are the fraud. You keep calling them fraud stars because you, you, you want to hijack your wife who is behind all the atrocities that you've been committing in this family. Uncle Noba, this case, you want this case, Inka? The very simple, very, very simple case. I don't want us to beat about the bush and I don't want us to gather again all in the name of making peace and talking about money. Mba. Let us abide by Papa's will. Shiki na. Okay. And like they say, to your tent, Ogini, Israel. Israel. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. We don't try now. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What, what will are you talking about? Eh? Papa has a will. What will are you be talking about? That will no longer subsists. Eh? It is null and void. And of no effect. Oh, what was it fit here? Make a book forget. Me buy it from who? Jonathan! Jonathan! Hello, sir. Yeah, I want to activate the deeds I gave you. All rents, I repeat, all rents must be paid directly into my account. What about your father's lawyer, sir? That's part of the brief I'm giving you now. It's your job now to inform him that he's out of the picture. You are running the show from now on, okay? His returnership is hereby terminated. Oh. 
Okay, um, thank you very much. Okay. I will show you for action. Thank you once again for letting me run the ship. Barrister, we would like you to give us a date for the execution of Father's will. At last? I hope there's no problem. Because all the rent money that I collected, I pay them into your brother's account as you instructed. Yes. There's no problem, Barrister. None at all. Okay. You fix a date with your brother and family observers. Let me know. Um, truth is, Barrister, that um, our brother is not, uh, was never interested in the will. He called the will useless. Jonathan called my father's will useless. Don't you worry. We will disregard him. I will not formally read the will. Basically, what I have to do is to appropriate to each one the property in the will. Just a change of name and ownership. Alright? So, could you give me the deed your father gave you? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Um, will day after tomorrow be okay? Yes. I'll get them across to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. What a relief. Yeah, what a relief. Yes, my daughter. I still insist we need more wisdom and patience to handle these issues. If peace must remain in the family. No problem, Uncle. I understand. And I think Nkechi was right when she said that the will should be read so that the properties would be shared according to Papa's desire. I mean, that way there will be peace. Because nobody will be asking the other person for anything. Papa was wise in making that decision. I know. I know, my daughter. But you agreed with me that observing the traditions of our people guarantees peace. That was why you ordered the lawyer to pay the rest money into his account. And that is the wisdom inspected of an elder which you are. I am proud of you. Thank you, Uncle. But unfortunately, he doesn't understand. And that is why I'm here to collect the documents. Sorry? No, I'm here to collect the documents that I gave you. Documents. Mm. Loretta, I am sorry. They're no longer with me. Sorry. Uncle, I don't understand. So, so where are the documents? I mean, who did you give them to? Uncle? Oh my God. I trusted you, Uncle. You made me trust you. You make my heart bleed, my daughter. Uncle, you promised you were not going to give him those documents. Your word should be your bond. You've always said that, that at your age, you would always do what is right. True, my daughter. Heaven knows that I thought I was doing the right thing. After the peace meeting, the settlement, and I heard that you have instructed the lawyer to pay the rent the, into his account, I heaved a sigh of relief. Peace and harmony was resident in the family. So I did the right thing. Also, I thought then that was not enough, Uncle. I told you not to give him those papers. Uncle, you have failed me. When he came for them, I had had how you give all of you money to expand your businesses. I did the right thing. I will not listen to you today, Uncle. Maybe some other time.
There's no other way uncle will explain it away. He won't dissolve himself. That's what I told him. And he said he thought he was doing the right thing. The right thing in his village and generation is not the right thing in our generation and cities today. Your father lived ahead of his generation. He did not allow the unprogressive traditions of his village to influence him. Uncle is not lying. He, he probably thought he was doing the right thing. But allowing the rent to be paid into his account, he consented to vanish. Was it not your idea? I admit, but I told you why. This morning I had a one on one with Pastor Chris. Your dream was a true revelation from God. And because you acquitted of yourself very well by backing out, your obedience has been seen in heaven. But now that he has refused to change, you have the right to take back what your father gave to you. So, Pastor, are you saying we should go ahead and execute the will? Ahead. But I see a battle. In fact, I see him already winning. But because you are a covenant child, by obeying the revelation that God showed you in the night, the Lord shall fight for you. Amen. I see the angels pulling you off from the cage Amen. and replacing you with that of your enemy. Amen. The Lord shall fight for you Amen. and you shall hold your peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So, sister, what are you going to do now? Jonathan has stepped on the head of a cobra, and he must be bitten. Honey. Oh. Baby, you're more smarter than I thought. Now we have them where we want them. Yeah, when I was working hard to take back what belongs to me, some people thought I was a fool. For once, you have proven to me that you're the true man I married. Now let us see where those witches will come from. I told you my sisters are no witches. Okay, they are bitches. It's better we don't talk about them. Okay then, as long as I'm one of the top landladies in this city. <laughs> baby, my baby, my darling, I'll keep this document for safety. Trust me darling. No, it's alright. No one can get my safety. The lawyer has uh, duplicates, so no problem. Mm. <laughs> to add further to your card, there's this man when we see this document will make more sense. <laughs> I have something for you. A letter? Mm. Uh, have a nice thing. Uh, you too. by my client to inform me that now, hence, all payments on your turn has to be made to my chamber. 
You are no longer to pay to the former lawyer. Sincerely, Barista E. E. Dab. Gini! We're now tenants in our own house. Hey. No, no, no. I think it's a mistake. I think so too. And I think it's a very bad joke for someone to make such monumental error. There's only one way to find out. How? Go to the chambers, of course. To do what? How? Come to think of it. I think this person is not a real lawyer. What do you mean? Look at it now. There's no, uh, there's no telephone number attached to the letter. Hey, no, there's a, an address. If we go there now, the office will be empty. Nandoshi! Okakwamana will get there first. Let us go there. I know what I'm talking about. Hey! People have to go. Let me get it. Please, please. Hey! Hey! What, what kind of nonsense is this? Just like that? When are we meeting in court again? You mean they are joined the case again till next month? No, this case is taking too long. Uh -uh. Well, let me call you back. Let me call you. Good afternoon. Mr. Lawyer. We received your letter here from your chambers. And we believe that you have the wrong address there. Um, this um, letter, you made number 6 AB Avenue. That property belongs to my client. I say, it's a lie. I say, I say, because number 6 AB is our private residence. I'm not tenancy. You know, go. You're getting me confused. Mm hmm. That property belongs to my client and it directed me to write to you the way I wrote to other tenants. Mr. Lawyer, let us try and find out exactly who's making a mistake. What is the name of your client? But if you insist, if you want to know, the name of my client is Mr. Jonathan Ezenia. What's the problem? What's wrong? You just passed into my office like that as if you paid the rent with me and you want to find out something. I told you that. What is the problem? What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy! I thought they were smart. <laughs> oh, Janata. I can see you are enjoying yourself. When everyone in the family is weeping, you are here laughing. My husband has no reason to weep. Shut up, woman! It's okay, my dear. Sorry. What's okay? Why would he come here and spoil our fun? It's alright. Just give me a moment. Okay? Let me, let me uh, talk with you. A moment, is there? It's alright. Yeah, Uncle, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry for what she did. Please sit down, let's talk. I don't need your seat. You should rather be very sorry for yourself. You have disappointed everybody and betrayed me, your uncle. Don't mind those women, okay? You, you put them in their proper place. You protected tradition and culture. From now on, till the end of your life, I will make sure you don't suffer. Just hear yourself. I will rather to fear, I will rather suffer than take anything from you again. Are you hearing me? Eh? I should have known when you were spoiling me with money that you had an evil motive. What is evil about one working hard for his birthright. Consider yourself a hero of traditional form. Oh, I want those documents, Jonathan. I give them to you on trust. Now your sister has seen me as I, I, I had conspired with you. The documents you asked for, Uncle, are in a place where even I cannot reach. I can't reach them anymore. Ah! 
You ruined yourself hmm? listening to tradition jargons and traditional jingoism. I expected much more from you. Now that he has the documents, he has the properties. Uh, but we still have the will to fall back on. With a will, we can go to court. Forget it now. Let me bend the picture for you. He has the deed. He's the only son. He has operated your father's business for over a decade. He, yes I know he can. If he forges another will and presents it to the court, voila, your case will be thrown out of the court. But you are our father's lawyer. The judge should know that you have the original documents. Except if your father speaks from his grave. What made you think that he cannot convince the judge that his father changed counsel before he died? He's a smart one. Oh my God. I know what he can do. We can do this in peace. Or we can do it in pieces No matter how you look at it The real truth is It's mine Mine forever All mine Mine is will be It's mine It's mine Before I become a laughing stock at home. Uncle, Uncle, please. Don't undo the good things you've already done. I'll pay the bribe, even though I know it's a waste of money. Uh, my son, I think it has gone beyond that. Not this first mala. One down the other one. Uh, that is my spot. And coke. Is, okay. your, is your mommy home? She's home. Good girl. Very nice. Coke, hurry. Hmm? Bye bye. That the malam at the other end. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Good afternoon, Mother. Oh, good afternoon. I cannot believe you're finally gone back to Jonathan. You, the devil lives in you. As a matter of fact, you are the devil. What have I done this time around? Will you people ever give me peace? Eh? Since you have lost every sense of conscience, you will not rest. You have decided to wake up the sleeping baby. You will never sleep again. You won't rest, no? Jonathan. You don't know what you did, Abby? Jonathan. So, you have become the devil personified. I cannot believe that a child from the same womb as I can descend to this level of wickedness. Uncle, believe me. This time around, I don't have an idea what they are talking about. Believe me, I don't know. Mwana, mm -hmm. take and read. Read and see what you have done. All in the name of our updated tradition. Look at it. Hey! 
There must be a mistake here. Jonathan, the girls are right. You are a devil. Now I know you are evil. Hey! I don't know you again. I don't know you again, short. Let, let me explain. Explain what? I did tell them to do this. Hey! There must be a... Let me Jonathan, explain. you are lying, Jonathan. I, I swear. I... You listen to yourself. I swear. I swear. I swear for what? What manner of man are you? Swearing and begging women. What are you swearing for? Why are you begging them? Can you not look at You don't understand. Why are you swearing? Why are you begging you? Are you swearing? Are you the mind to send higher assassins after my wife. Eh? Yes, Nketi. You want to wipe my family away.